Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to never miss a video upload, and of course, connect with us across our many social media platforms. We'd love to hear about you and your guinea pigs. Hello Piggy Pals and thank you very much for joining me on this week's video. This week we've got a very special video coming for you. I have partnered with the lovely Caitlin from Cherished Companions, link in the description below if you want to check out her channel, and we are collaborating in both doing how to bond with I'm going to do guinea pigs and Caitlin's going to do rabbits, so definitely go check out her video if you haven't already. Let's get started. So tip number one is that bonding takes time and patience. Every guinea pig is completely different. I've had guinea pigs where pretty much instantaneously we've had a bond and it's been a really deep bond. They've been very um, interactive with me in terms of human contact but just humans in general and then I've still got guinea pigs to this day that are two years old that just don't want that kind of attention. They like other piggy attention but aren't too fussed about human attention. So time and patience is the biggest thing. Piggies can take anything from days to weeks to months to years. So that's my first tip is to basically just be aware that time is different for every guinea pig. Tip two is to basically understand and learn their, your guinea pig's communication and how they instinctively can behave. So for instance, guinea pigs are a prey animal, which basically means they are ingrained within their kind of brain that anything that comes from the top of them is a threat and they will run. So that's my one tip is to, to in terms of approaching your guinea pig, approach them if you can at the same level slowly don't suddenly sort of go into them because they will just run away um so be aware of instinctively how they are ingrained to behave um and the kind of second part of this is learning your individual guinea pigs um likes and dislikes so i for instance my most bonded guinea pig if you like is Digger. We all know how he loves a good cuddle. Um, he loves to have a fuss but as soon as you touch his bum, no he's out of here, he does not like you. Um, so, but as long as you stroke head down to probably leg, he's alright and he will fall asleep and be more than happy of that. I also have Rolo who for me is still my guinea pig that to this day isn't bonded with me. He likes his own sort of attention, he's not fussed with humans. He doesn't like you picking him up, he doesn't like you stroking him in the cage, he doesn't like you stroking him at all really. However, he is interactive in his own ways. So understanding your own guinea pig's likes and dislikes and how they like to be treated as well. Number three, and I'm going to do these tips in a certain order, but to be honest, they all kind of go together and to implement every tip straight away will help you and your guinea pig bond. But tip number three is to basically establish a routine with your guinea pig. Guinea pigs are very habitual. They love a good routine. They like to know when they're getting fed their pellets, when they're getting fed their vegetables, when they're getting cleaned out. Maybe once a month they get their nails cut. They might not like that so much, but... Guinea pigs love routine and so basically by having the comfort and security of knowing when they're going to get fed, when you're going to be at the cage talking to them, when you're going to clean them, they're going to feel a lot more safe and secure. The other way to make your guinea pig feel safe and secure is to also be providing them every level of the care that they need. So that is friends to play with, guinea pig friends I mean here, food, shelter, or the basic level of necessities, which if you need to know, all my other videos are a great source of that sort of thing. Guinea pig necessities also helps guinea pigs feel safe and secure. Tip number four is to spend lots of time with your guinea pig. I know guinea pigs can sometimes be a pet that if they're not friendly straight away, people kind of forget about. And then unfortunately they end up being rescued or rehomed. And it's such a cycle that continues on very much that I want to try and stop. And that's one of the reasons for creating this YouTube channel is to basically promote guinea pigs as the best pets they can be and helping you guys get the best out of them as well as providing them the best life that they can have. So understanding and spending time with your guinea pigs is my top tea tip. Not only will that go inside with another tip, which is basically to learn their dislikes and, di and likes, it also helps them become familiar with you. Food is a main part into a guinea pig's heart, okay? If you are able to interact with your guinea pig and hand feed them, also talking to them, getting them used to your voice, 
when you feed them maybe you have a word that you say or a noise that you make that they will go crazy when they hear that noise and know it's you and that you're going to feed them this all helps you bond with that guinea pig again making that guinea pig feel safe and alerting them to the fact that you're there for instance as well as you know the human is here with food Hand feeding is also great for letting them smell you, getting used to you. Obviously, if you wear perfume or anything, wearing the same perfume every day, they can associate that with you. All those sort of things go hand in hand. A guinea pig smell is very good, as well as their hearing. If you've ever opened a fridge and you have indoor guinea pigs, you know. Um, all those things help you bond with your guinea pig too. And of course, by interacting with your guinea pig, whether it's you're cleaning the cage whilst they're still in there, again, you're there smelling your hands, or if you're sitting down in the cage, if it's big enough for you to do that, or whilst they're having floor time, again, they're interacting with you. They will come up to your leg, they'll put your, their paws on your leg. If you've got pea flakes or something like that, food, veggies, of course, if you hand feed them then to reward that good behaviour of them interacting with you, they're going to do it more too. And the last point of this tip is also that guinea pigs feed off your energy. You know as a human, you can tell if someone's angry or upset, guinea pigs know exactly the same thing and by you being calm and relaxed when you're interacting with them, they will be the same. If you are nervous, like for instance, they're going to chew your finger or bite you, they will pick up on that energy and be scared too. So calm, relaxed whilst interacting with your guinea pig will also make them calm and relaxed too. And lastly, when you've done all those, hopefully very quickly, your guinea pig will establish trust with you. Like I said, this can take anything from days to weeks to months to years, but by implementing all the other steps, this will help them trust you. Also, the fact that you are giving them food will help it trust you as well. But they will start to put their paws on your hand, start to put their paws on your leg if you are interacting with them in, as per the previous tips. If you do need to pick them up for any instance, whether it's nail clipping or health checking, holding them correctly, making them feel safe when you're interacting with them. Again, feeling calm and relaxed so that they're feeding off their energy. All this goes into establishing that trust with you. If you can provide them all the best care that you can and follow these tips, they will honestly bond with you. I hope you've enjoyed this top tips to bond with your guinea pig video. Like I said, I've done this in collaboration with Caitlin from Cherish Companions. Check out her channel. She does amazing videos on how to best give you and your pets the ability to live happy lives themselves and with you interacting with them. She has dogs, she has toads, she has cats, she has rabbits, she has all sorts. So go and check her out. So thank you very much for this week's video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've been Sam and of course next Tuesday we'll be back with another piggy video. See you all then. Bye.